Hey lovelies, you're welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Let's get into today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Destiny Payton, finally addressing the recent arrest. So if you guys remember, we covered a story saying Destiny was arrested a few days ago on four charges. And now, of course, we've been speculating, we've been talking about it. We've been like trying to piece things together about the arrest. Well, she's finally speaking up and I want to tell you what she has said, but I want us to break it down and talk about it. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button right next to it. So, you know, every single time that I post or go live and I want everyone, please, the best and free way to support me on this channel is to like, share and leave a comment in the comment section below and let's get into today's video so destiny has finally come forward to talk about this whole mess um she was alluding to the fact that she felt like it was very traumatic for her and she was pulling up into the doctor's office for her son's appointment she mentioned seeing her ex her son and then what looks like a SWAT team. Now, she said it may not have been a SWAT team, but it was a lot of people, a lot of officers sort of flooding to her, um, which I believe can be very scary for anybody, to be honest. So she was talking about there were officers everywhere. And then when she got down from the car, an officer walked towards her and asked if she was Destiny. She said that she was, and she was so scared. Um, she talked about the fact that her heart sank when the officer knew her name. And yeah, like she was just thinking like, what could he have been about? Because the previous case was dismissed. Um, but the officer did say that there is a warrant for her arrest. So of course she told the officer about the case had already been dismissed. But the officer was like, no, girl, this is an active warrant. Of course, the officer didn't say it in that way. But, uh, you know, I'm just putting a little extra juice on it. Um, But Basically, there was an active warrant and allegedly there was an anonymous call basically tipping them off that she was going to be showing up for a doctor's appointment for her son. That's crazy. I feel like the only person, in my opinion, right? Everything is alleged and in my opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Now, I feel the only person, in my opinion, that could potentially have known that she had a doctor's appointment who had as who has a skin in the game is labaric her ex-husband because i don't know anyone else who would want destiny arrested and flag or who would even know she had an official warrant out for arrest and then tip them off so yeah i i do i feel like it's labaric sorry i feel like it's labaric now I do know that people don't like Destiny, right? And of course, I understand. You know, I'm not a fan of Destiny either. I used to like her initially um, when she was friends with Mel. But when I saw the way she moved, I was not feeling her anymore. And the fact that she still continues to interact with Martel tells me everything I need to know about her. However, there is no ever. I feel like it's absolutely disgusting to if Labarican did did call to tell them to come and pick her up in front of their son i think that's disgusting i think no parent should do that no parent should put their children through that trauma just because you want to hold your ex-partner accountable for whatever it is that they did why not just do it at the time you have the kid um and tell them oh pull up to her house. I don't know, something like that. Pull up to where she works. Pull up to, I don't know, somewhere. Anywhere else but somewhere where the kid is going to be. I just don't think that helps the kid in any way. I don't think that's going to help the growth and development of the kid. I absolutely don't think it would. And so for me, I'm just like, I don't like anyone doing that. It comes across as you don't even care how much trauma you inflict on your child because you are upset and disgusted about whatever it is or you have some beef with this woman now not to say that destiny did not deserve it i don't know what destiny has done but allegedly some identity theft right and so if on based on all these fraudulent charges i understand him wanting her to get picked up absolutely but calling to have that in front of their kid I don't, I think that is too far. I think that is too far. I just don't think it is necessary. 
like surely there could have been like an I don't know another time like a more appropriate time where the kid is not in sight that that's just what I have to say on the matter right now she did say that the officers were accommodating they let her make a call which I think is very nice they don't always do that so i'm glad they allowed her to go into the thing into the car discreetly um because ultimately i would not want a situation where the child is exposed to that you know um i know it's not my child but still like i just i just feel for the kid so yeah i personally think at least they did it on a more discreet way i know destiny did mention that she requested for it to be discreet um, basically so her son wouldn't know and also so that pictures won't be taking of her getting into the car which I'm like fair enough right I understand all of these things but I'm also like Destiny did you do what they are alleging that you did because if you did then you should understand the repercussions of living a life of crime like if you're living a life of crime there is a potential that sooner or later something of the sort will catch up with you like it's only a matter of time right so i do think like people trying to get arrested all these kind of things can escalate like what if the officers got aggressive with her and all of this was being seen in front of the son what if god forbid something crazy happened and then their son had to watch that these are the sort of things like i feel like people need to be mindful of and whoever called that tip should have been mindful of those things, you know, like, I don't care how much you hate the woman, there are certain things that, okay, let's not do certain things, let's not do that, like, when is too much too much, right, now, I don't know LeBeric directly, but I'm starting to feel like he's doing a lot, right, like, if he truly called the tip, then I now query what other things did he do in the marriage? Now, I'm not saying for one second that destiny is innocent. Destiny is far from innocent. Anyone who chooses to be friends with someone who is an AB is not innocent. Someone who tries to release revenge P is not innocent, okay? So I do not think for one second that destiny is innocent. I will say this with my chest, right? But I feel like showing, trying to get the police to show up where the sun is, that is absolutely too far, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think that Lebaric, if it was truly Lebaric, um, was the one that called the tip? Do you feel like that was taking it too far? If not, like, let me know what you guys think if yes. And if not, let me know what you guys think as, as well. Um, I wonder, like, so one thing I noticed was Destiny did not really specifically speak on the case. Now, she did say that it was because of her attorneys and she's not really allowed to talk about the case as such but she decided to speak specifically on sort of like how she was arrested how she felt about that all of that kind of stuff now i will give destiny one point for something right and the point i would give her a one for right like i'm gonna give her a distinction right and i must say the reason i would say this is she is finally realizing that you need to be transparent with the audience being so cagey about information on a reality tv show is not going to get you any fans the best way is to be completely honest now i won't say she's been completely honest i think she is trying to get some ghana some sympathy absolutely however I feel like the former Destiny would not have even showed up in our faces to have this conversation. She would have had a stank face. She would not be having any dialogue about this, right? She would have just probably said something, a little shady, shady repost on her story or something. But she wouldn't be speaking out about it. She wouldn't be clarifying anything. Um, and which then leads people to create narratives interpretations of things um which may or may not go in her favor so i absolutely for the first time in a while would say one point destiny one out of hundred for actually starting to be a little transparent now i'm not under the impression that this doesn't have a little bit of um an intention to sway the public it does but it is a starting point at least now you're keeping it slightly real 
right? So hopefully you eventually get to keeping it all the way real. But for now, we're going to take this. Now, what we want to know is whether you're innocent, mommy. We want to know what you did, right? What did you do? And what exactly are you accused of doing? We'd like to get a little bit more information on that, right? So if you really want to be honest with us, tell us the real tea, okay? Maybe, maybe you may be able to get fans from this because people will appreciate you acknowledging and accepting whatever it is that you did. Now, it may, it may end up with you being in jail, but maybe you, you at least have fans who may put a little bit of money on your books, anyways that is all please like share don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell button right next to it so you know every single time that i post um and i will see you guys in the next video thank you bye